Hi guys, guess what I am today? You can see a tram behind me. You can see amazing street art everywhere. And you can smell an amazing food. And yes, we are in Melbourne. And soon we are going to be with Marina, our ghost study legend in Australia. Hi everyone. Hi Maria, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks. I'm glad to have you here today. And tell me, how long have you been in Melbourne for? Uh, I've been in Melbourne for two months now. Yeah, a little more than two months. And do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I totally love it. Yeah. And why are we meeting you today, Marina? Yes, I just wanted to show you a little bit of Melbourne to let you see how beautiful it is. Okay, let's find a nice place. Where can we go? Uh, a nice place where to talk. I think we can go there. There's a Queen Victoria market. So we can go there. Sounds good. Let's go. It's a very nice place, Marina. Such a multicultural place. But um, let tell me, what did you first think when you arrived in Melbourne? Well, to the truth, I thought that it was a big, big city, but kind of human and very European. I thought that. Uh, there was everything, like I could find any kind of restaurant, any, any kind of facility okay. here. And it's uh, not it a, such an expensive city, so for me it was really good. And uh, I, I thought that people were really, really kind here. So I liked it from the very beginning. Be you tired of the waves that come and knock? What have you been doing, Marina, since you arrived in Australia? Well, I've been studying most of the time. And uh, then I've been working as a teacher. I teach Italian. And I now have found a job as a, as a photographer. So, casual job as a photographer. Was it hard to find a job in Australia? No, not at all. So, the truth, no. Uh, I found my first job in, after one week from my arrival and then I found this one because I just started looking uh, so it's really really easy to find a job here. It depends on the job. It's easy. Why do you think that Melbourne is so special? Uh, well I think that Melbourne for me is so special because I feel at home. So I feel cherished and uh, welcome. The waves that come and knock you off your feet I'd learn to see you on a day when you will drown Maybe the What would you tell to someone who really wants to come to Australia? Why, why Australia? Why Melbourne? Well, Australia is a wonderful place to live and a wonderful place to visit So if anyone wants to move to another country then I really suggest Australia because it's a radical change but you feel welcome anyway. And I would suggest to, you know, if you're someone is doubtful, doubtful, just to give it a try. And I would suggest to uh, just talk to somebody like Go Study Australia to get advices and to feel welcomed and to feel that you have a kind of family when you arrive to Australia. Aww. <laughs> Let's say that today is your last day in Melbourne. What would you do today? Oh, well, I think I would do basically two, two things. First one, I would extend my visa <laughs> to stay here longer. And second thing, uh, I would go to the Hurika Tower to, you know, just see Melbourne from very high. Because I'm kind of afraid of heights. And I don't take the, I don't have the courage to go to Eureka Tower. And I think that the, for my last day in Melbourne, I will take this courage. Well, Marina, you already had the courage to come here and make this big decision. So I'm sure that you will succeed in everything that you will do here in Melbourne. And hey, guys, this video is gonna end very soon. But if you wanna know more about Melbourne, just come here and visit us. See you soon!